What's up YouTube? This is Nick from Everything Card Games here and today I wanted to take some time talk about some stuff I've noticed with the Digimon card game as far as like product and singles and whatnot. Some of my concerns going forward and some stuff to do like whether you should buy stuff now, wait and see where it's at with that. Before I get into it, I just want to say if you like the video be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. That would mean a ton. And I'm going to be posting more Digimon stuff in the future, so without further ado, let's just get right into it. So, if unless you've been living under a rock, you've noticed like the box prices from the pre-release event are really expensive at this point. Uh, you see here on TCG Player, they're like 170s. And even on eBay, if you look at the, like, the sold listings, we're talking like 150, like 160. Uh, something to keep in mind... The MSRP for boxes is around 75 to 80, um, even on their website. If you look at like the uh, MSRP for a pack, it's four bucks, so like $96 for 24 packs. But you can probably be able to find them for uh, 75 to 80. So it really, you're just buying it for time. If you want to really, really play over the next like month and a half before this releases, which this is like January 26th, I believe, then that's where people are like paying this much. I would not pay this much, to be honest. Uh, just wait. It's not going to hurt to wait a month and a half. It'll come here at that point. It's not like you're going anywhere with COVID and whatnot, or at least you probably shouldn't be. So just hold off. The only thing people are arguing with is if there's a difference between these boxes and the ones coming out in January. I haven't found any evidence to suggest that there is a difference. Like it says special release special booster, but if you look over on their product page, you realize that's just the description for the set. Like if you, where is it? Yeah, release special booster. That's the thing coming out in January. So I don't think there's even like a difference. There might be some difference with the promos and with like the dash packs, but the dash packs are separate anyway. A lot of these you aren't getting with, with the box anyway. So just keep that in mind. If you really, really want to have it like this week, then that's just what you're going to have to pay. I've been trying to look for places that have it cheaper. Uh, I bought one box in the three starters from a local game store's website and they had like all of it for 130 so that's what I did. Um, but definitely I would hold off from buying anything at the moment. And moving on to the singles because this one actually really baffled me because I saw like Geekitude had some stuff listed and things were like 20 bucks sold out. Like 35 sold, well not sold out but that one 40 or 50 dollars sold out omnimon where are you they had it like 170 sold out and at first like i thought that was just kind of crazy but if you look over on like sold listings like they're pretty expensive like 80 dollars for omnimon like there's a 50 but there's a lot of like it ranges from like 860 to 80 roughly and like 130 150 for the altar uh Definitely, I would, like, even more so than the boxes, definitely hold off on the singles. If there is an actual release in January, this isn't going to hold up. These prices cannot hold up. Especially, like, looking at it from an expected value perspective, it won't hold up. Because then there's just going to be way too much product opened and it's, it, the market's going to get flooded with singles. And also, just from, like, a pull ratio standpoint. So, for those who don't know, the pull rate is roughly, like, seven supers, a secret rare, and an alt art. So, like, you're getting, there's, let's go back here. There's 20 super rares, so that's roughly one in every three boxes that you're getting any particular super. There's one in th of three secret rares, so you're getting, it's, again, roughly one in every three boxes. And then the alt arts, I'm not doing the math on that at the moment, because there's a ton of different alt arts. And I don't want to like go through the EV calculations for all that, but let's just take out our calculator for some of these. Like for example, Omnon. Assuming it's like seventy-five dollars. Well, so you have seventy-five dollars, and it's run out of every three boxes. So it's like, um, we'll just do it that way. So it's one out of every three that messed up. So we'll take seventy-five and divide it by three, because roughly every three. I don't know how that happened. 
All right, so one out of every th three. There we go. Okay, so one out of every three boxes. So it's roughly going to be like every three boxes you get an Omnimon, which means in theory, it's actually slightly better, but in theory, that means it's roughly adding $25 of expected value to your box. It's a pretty basic calculation. It uses is for a lot of different card games. Like MTG Goldfish always puts up like an expected value article for all their new sets. Uh, so it's just something to look into. Like that's $25 of expected value from one card for an $80 box. Like that's insane. And then you look at like Bezelmon. Bezelmon was selling for like the eight, 70 to 80 for the all, well, 76. But you look at like 55, 55, 53. So with that one, we'll, we'll go with like 50. So you take 50 and then divide it by the three because it's one in every three boxes. So you're adding $16.16 .16 for one card for expected value that you have a one in three chance of getting. Like, it's not the same as saying like, oh, something adds $20 worth of value, but it's one out of it. Like, for example, Starlight's add a decent amount of expected value to Yu-Gi-Oh sets. But it's only one in every two cases you even get one, so it's not like, it's not the same as like, oh, it's not realistic. Like, you're going to get this a pretty decent chunk of the time, like one in three. If you open like a case, then you're roughly getting a playset of each of the supers and the secret on, based on math. Like, in two cards, you're that's over half the box EV. And there's two other secrets. We have like, Vidramon, which is selling from like, anywhere from like, 30 unfortunately there's vidramon zero which we're not even getting into the promos because they also are just guaranteed value like this promo is 15 bucks but you have like 30 35 so that's adding another 10 ev right there and i think the metal guru one yeah it's also like 30 ish so then you add another 20 in ev again that's just 61 dollars and 66 cents that's just the three secrets and one of the supers. There's other supers in the set that are worth decent money too. Like right now, this is selling from anywhere from like 20 to 30 bucks. That's adding another like 10 EV. There's like 19 other supers in the set that you can get. And again, since it's one in three boxes roughly, like again, it's just gonna be there a decent chunk of the time. So if you add it all up, it probably is like 140, 150 box EV right now which is partially why the boxes are selling for that much. But when the boxes go down to 80, it's not going to last. It's going to tank. It's going to have to go somewhere. Omnimon's probably going to be somewhere in like the 40 to 50 range, if that, probably even a little less, closer to 40, maybe 30. I don't think any of the supers or secrets can realistically hold more than like 40, 50 bucks, with the exception of the alt arts, because there's only one alt art a box, and there's like 15 different ones. Like, they actually are reasonably hard to pull. But just keep that in mind as you're going forward that I definitely would not pick up any, like, high dollar singles right now. Like, that's just, that's insane <laughs> to have that high of an EV for something that isn't really out yet. And, well, I mean, it makes sense. But just very keep in mind when you're looking at this stuff, the EVs, and where you want, like, where you feel comfortable buying and stuff. I, again, I would wait on all of this till January. If you want to buy the boxes now, it, be prepared to move the product because it is selling for a lot right now. Just if you hold on to it, it's not going to last. They're going to print more product. It's a game that they're trying to promote. There's going to be more product. Every card game is kind of like this at the beginning where it's hard to find product, but then eventually they print a lot of it and all of the singles tank. That being said, that's all I had for this. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome Digimon content and any other content you're interested in. And with that being said, I will see you all later.